Let's look at movies from an expert's perspective. We're thinking beyond movies. Imagine being germ-free. It's Reogenesis technology. It's on cinema at the cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hey, everybody, welcome to a new, brand new episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. I am your host, Tim Heidecker, coming to you for the first time in the history of On Cinema in virtual reality, in VR. Uh, we're very excited to provide this brand new platform for us, and it's really exciting. What can I say? Get your VR headsets on. Uh, we have ours here, uh, and thanks to... Uh, Thanks to Max here for setting it up. Max is now our crew of one. We used to have 15, 20 people working here, and they've all got the pink slip because we are going into the future. It's automated situation, and uh, it's kind of cool because now basically you can see the whole. I'll, I'll just give you a quick tour. By the way, we got Greg Turkington with us here. Pretty exciting, Greg. Hey guys. He's part of the VR experience. You can get up close and personal with him. And now you could just, I can go pretty much wherever I want in the set. And uh, basically you can see the whole set uh, from in a 360 degree format. So I think it's a new way to experience uh, all kinds of different stuff, our show in particular. Um, what are I, they going to do when they show the clips from the movies that well, we're reviewing? Is that going to be... We're going to be able to watch gonna... them here in VR as well. So we'll be able to... But if the movies didn't come out in VR... How it'll would... be like you're in a... It'll be almost as if you're in a movie theater. So if you were in a movie theater, you'd look straight, right, Max? If yes, you're sir. right at the screen, you'd see a screen in there. You understand? Nothing about this reminds me of a movie theater. That's for sure. Well, I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it's going to... You'll see people are going to get really excited about this. Uh, I want to put this back. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a cold or something? I got, I think it's allergies. It's, uh, yeah. a maybe you're, pollen maybe you're allergic to the Reogenesis. Yes, thank you again. This is sponsored by Reogenesis. The, we've been talking about it, very exciting. If you're not, if you haven't purchased the system yet, um, let's look at it from a different angle, which is, um, you know, the Rio Genesis not only keeping me alive from a germ standpoint, but from a financial standpoint, uh, you know, the Delgados have been basically moving in and surrounding me. You know, they've, ta they've taken DKR from me. They've taken, um, excuse me. <coughs> they've, t <coughs> they've taken um, Dakar, they've taken Decker. Um, they're, they're trying to make moves, apparently, on some of the on cinema itself. So that's the last and we'll see of Dakar and DKR? That's, the, right now, that they're in a holding uh, company that the Delgados have established. The, uh, but can you guys make music anymore, or is that it? That's, uh, like I've said before, I think right now we're in, that's, we press pause on that. Um, they've, nice. but, but, so what I'm trying to say is, Rio Genesis is providing that stability to the show. Okay, and, and the more you support Rio Genesis, uh, the, e the easier it's going to be to do what we do, which is provide <coughs> movie expertise. So Rio Genesis kind of did get rid of bacteria and germs if it's responsible for Dakar being gone, for Axiom. Mm. And, well, listen, I wouldn't, well, about, I wouldn't talk about, I wouldn't talk about, you know, the personal stuff because, I, you know, I'm really at my wit's end with you. You've disobeyed me. Um, in so many different ways, in particular, my request, my, my, frankly, my insistence of not wearing these stupid hats, and you're back at it this again. This is a beret. It's not a hat. It it's is very different. Who cares? It's a, it's a hat. And I asked you to not wear it's hats a on the set. You look like an idiot. You look like a clown. And everybody's saying that you. You Max, should talk. You look like Adolf Hitler. Okay. That's how dare you? That's like calling. If I was black, that's like calling me the N-word. That's the white N-word. And fuck you. Well, Sergeant Stubby, st an American hero. Take it off. Take the hat off. Take the beret off. Take it off. T Sergeant Stubby, an American hero. Helena Barnum. Helena. Helena. Bonham Carter, Logan Lederman, Letterman, 
Jared Depard. The true story of the most decorated dog in American military history, Sergeant Stubby and the Enduring Bonds. It's a dog movie about World War I. Sergeant Stubby, an American hero, directed by Richard Lanny, gets four bags of pop, five bags of popcorn from me. It's not my kind of movie, but it, it checked off all the boxes in terms of length. And for kids, it's a good movie about patriotism and American honor. So it's a cool movie in that regard. No stars in it, and it had no special effects that I care Helena about. Helena Bonham. It doesn't look good in VR, I'll tell you that much. All right, your review? I thought it was great. I don't think Sergeant Stubby is ever going to be on the level of Benji in terms of being an American hero who happens to be a dog, but I do think the movie's very good. Um, I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and uh, maybe a can of um, Dick Van Patten's Natural Balance dog food, since you like these natural mm. products. That would be one for a dog. I guess similar to okay. second is Leo Overboard, Genesis. starring Bob, directed by Bob Fisher. Two directors, Bob Fisher and Rob Greenberg, starring Anna Faris, Eva Longoria, and John Hanna. Uh, this is a remake of Overboard with Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, directed by or a uh, spoiled wealthy yacht owner is thrown off board overboard uh, and becomes the target of revenge from his mistreated employee. And actually, it's kind of cool with the VR. You can get a sense of where, what I'm reading. Sort of like this is a full immersive experience. So you can sort of appreciate. Anyways, uh, Overboard, five bags of popcorn. <coughs> Max, did you see Overboard? Uh, I did. It was great. So the original? No. So there you go. Uh, the original Overboard is actually a classic. I think sometimes you're running a risk when you remake something that's so identified with two stars. For instance, you wouldn't remake uh, The African Queen, I think, because Katharine Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart are so identified with that movie, uh, as are Kurt and Goldie with Overboard. So mm -hmm. I think they were taking a risk, but I think the risk paid off because this movie is just as good as the original, maybe even a touch better. Uh, very, very funny. I think it will be the comedy of the year. And I hope that uh, Kurt and Goldie get a chance to go see it themselves. I think they'd get a kick out of it. I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and one uh, miniature anchor, mm. which is something you would use if you were okay. overboard. And we thank you. Thanks, Greg. And thank you, Max. And thank you, Rio Genesis. RioGenesis.com, the only way to defeat germs, uh, the only way to Besides block washing germs. your hands and just using common sense. The only way to defeat germs and protect yourselves <coughs> from If you wash germs. your hands, you've got germs, and they're, <coughs> then they're gone. The soap also works the same way. Okay. Don't undercut the sponsor of the show. You have a popcorn well, classic. Well, if you want to do your popcorn sponsor, classic. I haven't been paid anything. I haven't even been reimbursed. All right, that's the end of the show. But I have bought my own ticket to see all these movies that we've been reviewing and not gotten reimbursed. So well, how do you Rio how Genesis is the sponsor. They should at least be reimbursing that, let alone paying an appearance fee. We're not paying fees. You're a guest. You're an expert. And that yeah, be but enough. I shouldn't have to buy the ticket and not get reimbursed. Well, then don't these go guys, see the movies. Well, what are they doing exactly if they're sponsors? Because I'm not seeing anything. And you seem sick today. Today's popcorn classic. I'm not even sure where to show this. I guess any camera, anywhere. You can walk around the stage if you want. It's Creature from the Black Lagoon, which, with all this talk about virtual reality, that this guy. Uh, you know, was hoodwinked you into. Um, this is kind of the original virtual reality. It's called 3D. Mm -hmm. And vir there's nothing new under the sun. Certainly virtual reality has been done and done to death. It all started here in 1954 with a creature from the Black Lagoon, today's popcorn classic starring Richard Carlson and Julia Adams. This is a horrifying movie about a scientific expedition that goes wrong when they uncover this creature in a black lagoon. All right, and thank you very much. You've got to see it in and 3D. And, and you, if you've and enjoyed they, this, let us know, because I think this could be the future for On Cinema. Is and if you haven't immersive. enjoyed it, let us know, too. No, that's your right. Thanks for watching. This is the, you understand, this is what we're doing from now on. You have to, you're not going to, uh, you have to accept that and move on. It's just, stop. It just doesn't feel right. You're going to no. call me Hitler again. You understand how, how I'll this call you Hitler. Yeah, you did. You said I look like Adolf Hitler. That's well, on record. I'm calling you Hitler. Excuse me? Your, the hairstyle and the mustache are very Hitler. Okay, so every so Burt Reynolds looks hey, like Hitler. Hey, this is, I'm getting cards and emails right. from you know people what? that think that too. I'm not, I'm not talking to you about that anymore. Well.
I'm not the only one that thinks it.